What's up guys, my name is Mike and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to make something like this. We will use Python to create animated candlestick chart. To do this we will use Jupyter Notebook. So let's get ready to code. Okay, so this is the notebook that we are going to use for this tutorial and first of all we need to run the first cell. In that cell we got 4 items. Those items are required in order to animate the chart in the Jupyter notebook. Without this the chart will be like a blank image. So let's run it. Okay. So the settings are already applied so we can move to downloading TIG data. If you do not know how to do this, you can always go to my last video and I explain it in details how you can download good quality Forex data that we are going to use in this tutorial. Okay, so let's run it and download it. Wait a, wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Okay, so the download is 100%. So we got our thick data. So the next step, we will import pandas and we will import the data into the pandas data frame so basically we will import this file all the tick data is being stored in this euro usd file in csv format okay and now very important thing during that import time we need to set up the index column as time and parse dates from the same column and and we only need three columns time ask and bid okay so let's run this cell print it in a table Okay, as you can see, we got this table. We got time as an index column, ask and bid. Okay, now we need to convert this tick data into the OHLC format. So basically, open, high, low, close. This is the format that we need in order to generate candlestick chart. So let's wrap it in a function. This function is called convert tick to ticks to convert ticks to OHLC. So basically this function will convert our tick data into the OHLC format. And as you can see, we got our converted data. So we got time and we got open, high, low, close. As you can see, every single line is representing for our time. Okay, we got our OHLC data. So now it's time to create our candlestick chart. So to do this, we will import the MPL Finance. So we need to import those three modules. MPL Finance is basically the most important one. Then by this line, we will basically create the chart. Then we got candle, candlestick counter. So in this line, we'll generate our chart. It will be blank. Then candle counter basically will represent the number of candles we got and then we will create a loop through each candle and we will pass it and we will pass this information to OHLC list. So after that we can just add the labels. Okay, let's run it. So as we can see we generated a beautiful candlestick chart. We got gaps, basically one gap is one weekend and each candle represents four hour. The whole chart represents one month. Okay, we generated the candlestick chart, so now it's time to animate this chart. First of all, we need to set up one more time the settings for Jupyter Notebook in order to make the chart animation work. Then we need to make our imports. After that, we'll of course load TIG data, convert it to OHLC data. After that, of course, let's initialize the graph and settings for the graph. After that, we can show the blank graph. And now, very important thing, we will iterate through each candle in the OHLC data. So by that, I mean we will basically, through this iteration, every single time we will add one more candle to the data frame. So basically, after each loop, one more candle will be presented in, on the chart and the rest of code that you can see is actually plotting the labels, the names and uh, labels and names. 
okay and on the end of this part and on and on the end we got two methods first one pick canvas draw basically this function will draw our candlestick chart and the last one we got time sleep 0.1 basically this method will make our chart to wait 0.1 second between each candle so let's run it and see if it's gonna work or not let's wait a little bit okay so as you can see our iteration is working and after every single iteration one candlestick is being added to the chart and that's why we make our first animation on the candlestick chart but it's not the end now we know how to make our candlestick chart animated so but the code it's messy a little bit i would say so the wise thing would be to create a class wrap all the functions on the class and make it production ready code okay Okay, this is the class. So basically, at the top we got, of course, imports. Then the class is called live chart env, and we got our init function. To init function, basically, we pass all the parameters that we need in order to generate the chart. Of course, we got data like tick data, time frame, candle window, or wait or wait time parameter. The next thing is update chart. Basically, this function is responsible for updating the candlesticks on the chart simple as that we got also clear the chart and draw on the chart methods next function is convert ticks to OHLC I think I mentioned it before basically this method and we got our candlestick simulation so basically when we initialize the so basically when we initialize the class and run the method candlestick simulation we will trigger our class to generate the animated candlestick chart so let's run it okay so now let's do it like we would do on our normal research so first we need to import tick data so let's import it one more time after that okay tick data is imported everything looks correct so now it's time to initialize our class so let's pass it to the candlestick chart variable trigger the candlestick simulation okay as you can see the chart is working perfectly every single candle is being added and the last candle is being removed so it looks like a legit candlestick chart okay i hope you like this okay so basically i think we made it Okay, so basically I think we made it. Okay guys, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you like this and if you would like to get more stuff like this or even if you would like to get tutorial on how to create exactly chart like this but using tick data and, and generating candlesticks tick by tick, just hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Thanks again, all the notebooks and contact info you can find down below. So, see you soon!